I am am the humble humble seer. seer. Hello and welcome to the humble seer. So let's talk about Kanye West in his past, present and future. And so we'll just do the traditional. It's, I've done several, so uh, it's just going to be him as a young boy, a teen, 20s, 30s. You know, you get the idea of his future, and then we'll uh, talk about his mother who has passed and his father. And uh, then we'll pull on romantic relationships, okay? So this is him as a young boy. This is him in his teen years. This will be him in his 20s and 30s. This is him in his adult life. And uh, this is his future. All right. All right. So as a young boy, we have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is about the past coming back. Now, what I get here is the father. I feel the father was like in and out of his life. And, it, you know, it's, so that's like the past coming back. And it, there wasn't that, that, um, that foundation. The father just was in and out. And, um, you know, so he didn't have a real father figure in his life. He, he just didn't. Um, I, I don't see it. I just see his mother and his mother being instrumental in his learning and all of that, his teachings. And philo- she would, you know, provide philosophy and just, you know, nurture him and raise him in the best way that she could. We know she's gone, but But that's what I see in his young life, just father in and out of the picture, more out than in. Okay, in his teen years, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is, well, they like the finer things in life. They like, they're good natured, they're realistic, they have earthly desires, and they want the best of the best. And this is what he wanted in his teen years as a youngster, right? He wanted these things. And, you know, he began as he moved in from his teens into his twenties and thirties, you know, out of his teen years, he started to build what he considered was going to be his empire. And, uh, he, he became quite successful as we already know, but he was doing things as a youngster in his, you know, mid teens and even younger, He was very artistic, um, but he was kind of strange and out there. You know, it's more exaggerated now that he has more money. It's just that that has affected him mentally. But at any rate, in his teen years, he was creative and he was doing creative things. And, you know, he dibbled and dabbled in getting into trouble. But really, he was more a focused child on what his craft was and what he wanted to do and, you know, making beats and things like that. Now this is his twenties and thirties. Okay. So now we have the six of swords and the six of swords, it comes in and it says that there's travel, there's movement in positive directions. There's, you know, progress results. And we know that, um, that he married, you know, this is twenties and thirties, right? We know that he he got into a relationship in, with Kim Kardashian, and um, they have several children, I think maybe four children. So that Six of Swords is just like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of movement in a positive direction. And that positive direction was his family and those children that he, uh, you know, was part of bringing into the world. But, you know, that marriage and that lifestyle really waned and it grew on him. And um, it just really worked his last nerve. You know, it was like I I got involved with somebody that, well, I don't necessarily have a whole lot of respect for. This is, you know, his feelings about I, I don't have a lot of respect for this person that I've married, but I'm here. I'm in it. And now it's like, okay, I'm looking around and I'm looking at the things and what this person does. And it's just, you know, they're kind of a disappointment to me, him talking about his wife. And I don't like what she's doing with my children. I don't like what they're doing. And that's just a continuation. But that's something that he saw in his marriage as he was bringing these children. These children were coming into the world. So now we have the adult life. This is him now. And it's a six of pentacles. And the six of pentacles is it's generosity, it's gifts, it's charity, it's being valued, it's wealth and prosperity. And that is 
a lot of what he is talking about and what he is focused on. And um, it's like, you know, it's important to him. It's important to him. And um, he likes to talk about it. It makes him, it boosts him. It makes him feel like he's something because deep down he is very insecure. He's an insecure person and, uh, he has to come out and boast and brag because it helps to boost, uh, and make him feel good about himself is what I get. So yeah, it's all about money in his adult life. It's all about, you know, what can I, um, what can I do to get more money? How can I, you know, do this or that? I'm all about making money. That's what I see. This is his future. Okay. His future is the three of wands and the three of wands wands is about luck. It's great opportunities. And I see that I see him always getting opportunities, always bringing in money, always figuring, losing money. Yes. But bringing money, he might lose a million and then later on he might gain 2 million. So he's always going to be around great opportunities and a, a good team of people. He's going to make sure of that. So his future is, is filled with opportunity. Opportunity galore is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's, uh, Let's see what else. Let's talk about his relationship with his mother who has since passed and uh, his father who wasn't in the picture. Okay, so this is mom. This is dad. And this is uh, his romantic relationships. Okay, so mom is the tower. Well, it's interesting because this is him, how he feels currently about his mother and the loss. It, what that tells me is that the loss never, it, it never went away. He, uh, it just didn't, it, it, the, his mother is forever in his heart, right? His mother is forever. She, he holds dearly to that his mother. And it's, it, the, the tower is about catastrophe, right? The tower is about drastic changes, loss, death, divorce, shock, failure. And that's how he feels to this day. And that won't ever go away. And that's part of his maddening ways. His mother, believe it or not, his mother still, the loss still hurts and devastates him. And here's the father which isn't surprising. The father is the moon and the moon tells us that, um, there is bad energy there. There's deception with the father and Kanye wants to have a relationship with his father some days and some days he doesn't, but the father is the moon. The father is bad energy. He's dangerous. He's deceptive. He has false friends. He's not faithful. That is representative of his father. Just bad, doing bad things, has done bad things. He's the moon personified. Now this is, and, and, and Kanye kind of knows that. Okay. This is his romantic relationships. And that's the ace of wands, which is interesting. And the ace of wands is about, well, it's possible that he's going to have a a son. He's going to bring a son into this world hmm. that he'll have a son, but the ACE of wands also, uh, is about, it is the birth of a son. It's a, a family. It's, it's the beginning of something new and it's very exciting. That's really telling us current that's really telling us current and that's what wants to come through. So I'm just going to leave it there. Um, thank you so much for stopping by the humble seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. And if you want to buy me a coffee, that's in the description box below until next time you take good care. and We'll talk again soon. Bye.